Welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter. So yeah, your towel bar. How are you gonna get that thing into the wall when you have nothing behind it to fasten to? So the answer is right here in my hand, toggle bolts. So this great little tool can be used in a variety of circumstances, but they do have their limitations. So let's get into that a little bit. Okay, really quickly, let's look at how these work. So as you can see, we have the um, business end of the bolt right there and then it screws into this little thing right here. So it unattaches, it screws in just like that. And then because that folds up, you're gonna have to drill a pretty big hole in the drywall, like a half inch hole here, sometimes even five eighths. This one is five eighths. You slide it through with your piece of material, whatever it is you're fastening to the wall, ideally because of this video, it's a towel bar, but you push it through there, that springs open and once it springs open, it then gets sucked tight. So as you can see right there, that's gonna disperse the load on the back of the drywall. So you are still relying on the strength of the drywall holding, but it's spread out a lot. And this one right here that I'm using is rated for about 90 pounds. So I mean, I wouldn't go testing those, but it's gonna be good enough for a towel bar. So before I get into the install, let's get into some of the drawbacks. So one of the drawbacks is that you do have to drill that pretty big hole. So you need to make sure that whatever is going over top of it is gonna cover it. In some cases, your towel bar might not be big enough to cover it. Or if you are deciding to throw caution to the wind and use it for something like this little handrail bracket, again, you can see those um, that cover isn't good enough. Although I wouldn't recommend using these for handrails. Maybe just on like one bracket, when all the rest of them have it. But again, make sure that cover covers it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put your toggle bolt through the fastening plate, but make sure that you have enough room left on this part for it to go through, because it's gonna to have to go through, in this case, on this big one, it's about an inch. And so the material that I'm going through is half inch drywall plus the plate, so I'm gonna need about three quarters of extra bolt showing right here. Otherwise, this isn't gonna have enough room to be pushed through here and then snap open. Next, you're gonna to wanna to mark your holes for your towel bar. In this case, I was just reinstalling an old one and so the holes were already there. I just needed to make them a little bit bigger to accept this. So once my toggle bolts were through the fastening plates and the holes were drilled in the right spot, I pushed the toggle bolts through the drywall until I could feel them spring. Once they've both sprung, you're able to pull it back and you have to keep some tension on it so that you can then start to screw it into place. So for the bulk of the threads, I like to use a drill, but I leave about a 16th of an inch of slack, couple mils, and then I do the rest with a screwdriver to make sure that I don't crush it. So what's gonna happen is you're not gonna crush this too much into the back, but what you might start to do is you might start to pull the anchoring plate so far into the wall that the escutcheon part won't actually go back over and hook on and you won't be able to do that little threaded bit. So you wanna make sure, again, that it's not too tight. One of the really great things about these is that there's some wiggle room. So if your holes wandered a little bit or it doesn't look totally level, what's really easy to do is once these are back there, you've got all this kind of wiggle room right here, if you can see that. So if you notice it's not level, what I did was I took my level and I just kind of bounced one up or down depending on which way they needed to go. And there's also some lateral movement so that if they're not totally centered, you can move them a little bit too. Hopefully though, your cover is again, gonna cover this big hole. That's probably the most limiting factor of toggle bolts. So again, the first thing you wanna make sure is that your cover plate is hand tight. As soon as you have it exactly where you want it, you can give it an extra little quarter turn or two with a screwdriver. And once you have those in place, you know, go ahead and get that towel bar mounted on there and call it a job done. Good. That's on there. And that's so I've been using these for a long time. I've never had one fail. And for something like a towel bar where, you know, somebody's gonna be pulling on it, these are gonna work really good. Way better than those other crappy twist in or those little dinky, you know, like plastic drywall anchors that don't do anything. Those just get put in long enough for the house to get sold, you to come in after you've bought it and pull it out of the wall. So anyways, yeah. Anywhere that you can't get into solid wood, use toggle bolts. However, if you're at the framing stage of your job, what I highly recommend is figuring out what heights you want all of your towel bars and you know, like hand towel racks, all of those things 
figure out what height you want it and put wood like two by sixes at least and put those in the locations you're gonna to wanna to use them because that's gonna save you a huge headache. You're just gonna be able to basically fasten those just about anywhere it looks good. And it doesn't take that long, it's well worth your time and none of your stuff is ever gonna get pulled out. Because one thing to consider is if somebody ever does manage to yoink these out of the wall, you're gonna be left with a hole like this big. So again, just covering some of the downsides, the big hole that you have to make here, you need to know that that's gonna to have to get covered by something. The second thing is if you ever pull these out, like so if you have to take it off, you lose this part in the wall. So you're gonna to have to have new toggle bolts to do it over with again. But the plus sides are way better holding than cheap anchors and you get all that adjustment before you fully firmly anchor it. Okay, actually I just remembered there is one last thing you should think about. If whatever you're mounting, if this is the finished screw, so say on something like this cheap towel bar here, what's gonna happen over time is because this isn't stainless steel, it's going to rust. So um, if you can find bolts that are made out of stainless steel that will fit into this, then I would recommend using that for bathroom fixtures that are going to get exposed to the weather. So the, not the weather, <laughs> the elements of a shower going on all the time. So the bathroom that I installed that towel bar in was just a toilet and a sink. So there was no shower, so there's not gonna be all that condensation. So I wasn't worried about these being exposed, even though it was covered. But that other towel bar that I showed you guys, that one is in a shower and that's why it's getting rusted. So that's one last thing to consider. Hopefully you found this video useful. I uh, hope you guys are doing well out there. I wanna say thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Till the next video.